Dippin' Dots are a really unique treat that consists of tiny, super frozen balls of ice cream. And you can only seem to find them at weird places, amusement parks, zoos, but like, we haven't been to any of those in years. I haven't had any, I want some. So today we're gonna be making some with liquid nitrogen. This video is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform for all your website needs. Now, a lot of people online have made this, and basically what you do is you take regular ice cream, you melt it, you put it into some sort of dropper, and you drop individual drops into the liquid nitrogen, it freezes it into tiny little ice cream balls, and then you eat the balls. But there are some things that we're gonna have to keep in mind while we do this today. Safety. Liquid nitrogen is really cold. So we're gonna be taking precautions to make sure we don't give ourselves frostbite. Now we also have this oxygen meter that I'm gonna turn on, because I forgot, I forgot to turn it on. As liquid nitrogen heats up, guess what it turns into? Gaseous nitrogen, which displaces oxygen, and we like breathing. So that's this right there. Don't worry about the explosions, we got that. We, no, no worries there. But that's not all we're doing today, because we also, at great expense, ship some real Dippin' Dots out to our house. This is the real genuine deal. It costs $150 because they came in a fancy container with dry ice. I'm not sure if it'll be worth it, but we want to be able to compare the real deal versus the ones that we're going to be making here today. So the first thing that we're going to do, this is actually one of the slightly more dangerous parts because liquid nitrogen, very, very, very cold. A room temperature piece of borosilicate glass is extremely hot in comparison, and it's gonna start boiling intensely. So it's gonna look really cool. I, don't know, I hope so. Ugh. All right. Ooh. You can hear the bubbling. Yeah, well, look at bubbling. You see that? You don't want to get those little drops on your hand. No. <laughs> this is the Dippin' Dots we're going to try to recreate. The banana split right here. Oh wow, this is really it's going. It's really going. It's really going. Now, you can get specialized containers that already have insulation around them to keep the liquid nitrogen cool, but what I did is I got a uh, foam cutter and I cut my own little insulated container and I made it to surround a beaker and it's cooled down a lot now, so it's not boiling yeah, as much yeah. anymore. It's really Time exciting for a for little bit more. While Evan prepared the liquid nitrogen, I prepared to microwave melt our first flavor of ice cream, chocolate. Before we make the other two flavors in the banana split, we're gonna use the chocolate ice cream to test out three different dropper methods, starting off with method number one. Method number one is just gonna be a syringe right here. We're just gonna suck up the ice cream and slowly drip it into the liquid nitrogen. Man, this feels like really wrong, honestly, microwaving ice cream. I mean, it is wrong. It's like I'm undoing so much hard work. <laughs> Just to redo it again, but yeah. faster. There's a little little solid chunk in the middle, but I don't want to overboil this. There's no Oh yeah, liquid. no, no, that's 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 plenty good. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> See if I can get controlled. Whoop. That's okay. So far, so good. Yeah, honestly. Some of them look like really light. I guess it's just like the ice crystals forming. Well, it might be like some air. Oh yeah, it could be air bubbles. This method I think is okay. It's workable. They don't look the most consistent. No. They look kind of like globby. Oh, oh yeah, there's some big globs. There's look some really look big at that globs. big glob. How oh, embarrassing. big globs. Oh, big globs. Big globs. So we'll go ahead and filter them out, extract them, and then we'll show you what we got. They look like mutants. So we have a secondary insulated container right here with a filter on top. There they go. That might be all of them. No, there's some that sink to the bottom. I oh, think. okay. I felt them down there. Ooh. Oh, you're right. Whoa, there's a bunch down in there. Those, good yield. Those look better. Yeah, that's a good yield. Oh, that noise is great. Oh, oh. this is bubbling. Pour it back into the colder, more insulated container. 
So we got some really nice balls. Yeah. And then some big old airy chunks. Yeah. Do you want to try it though? Yeah. Mmm. It's so good. Woo! Oh my gosh, Yay! it's really good. Yay! <laughs> it's like, I thought it might be a little like crunchy, like a little over frozen or something. Yep. It's really good. It's so funny, instead of cooling it down like hot soup, I'm blowing on it to warm it up. Mmm, <laughs> great balls. Yeah. Mmm. Chat agrees. Delicious. Ch chat says nice bulbs. Bulbs? <laughs> bulbs. Okay, method number two. Let's try the little condiment bottles. So the first one, I think we saw Rosanna Pensino using the syringes. We saw Nate and one other person using these bottles. So we'll see how this does. Ooh, Ooh. that seems like much more individual drops. This is, I think this is already a lot more consistent. I feel like I'm able to control this. As of right now, this is my favorite. Oh yeah, look at that. It's nice so little ball action. Now I can actually squeeze pretty dang fast. And it still comes out as little balls. And it really looks like, oh yeah, yeah. Wow, look at all of those. I feel them all be bopping around. It's really interesting that these little balls of um, ice cream are boiling the liquid nitrogen because they're so much hotter than I the know. liquid nitrogen. Ooh, that was a stream. Oh yeah, sorry. You can really get some like decent... Maybe the stream is fine though, I don't know. Or if you did it from like higher up or something, would it? Ooh, yeah, those are all balls. Okay. Higher up, works. Again, it seems like some of the floating ones are the ones that clump. like clump. I'll just scoop the floaters out. Mm. <laughs> that one looks like something. Poop? <laughs> no, hey. it looked like, uh, looked like something else. Ooh. Oh, that's, that's so mysterious. What's the yield gonna be? What's, What's the, yield the yield gonna yield? be? Oh, there's the yield. There it is. There's the yield. Those look much more even. Yeah, those do look more even. I mean, that just straight up looks like Dippin' Dots. I think that those look pretty great, especially these right there. Yeah, there's a few like clumpy lumpies, but there's a lot of really good ones there. Hmm. Ah. <laughs> okay, it's good. Does it taste the same? Tastes the exact same. Mm. Great though. I mean, it it's tastes so great. Good. At this point, it's more about like, which method is easier, easier. to control and mm -hmm. leads to better balls. Yes, I agree. Now, we do have one more method that is the most- Expensive and expensive. fancy. Yeah. It's called a separating funnel. And I don't know what it's normally used for, but, I know what we're gonna use it for. I'm sorry to all of you chemistry people who think this might be a travesty. <laughs> we're doing chemistry here. Technically. This is chemistry. What you do is you just twist this to release a small controlled flow. Seems like too much. Ah! Too much. Oh, that's <laughs> good. Oh, that's good. There it is. Automatic production. There's a big blob coming down. And there it is, and it increased. Yeah, let, 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 me, let me bring you guys in for some ASMR. <laughs> now we see what the yield is. Is it nice little balls or is it a whole bunch of big ugly clumps? Oh. Ooh. Oh. That one, one fell out bouncing. Focus on the yield. It's okay. And they are individual still. Yeah, they are individual. Yeah. That one sounded a bit crunchy. Extra that's, frozen. That's maybe a little bit gold. After testing all three, the third dropper method was definitely our favorite. And now it was time to move on to the next two flavors, strawberry and banana. The strawberry and banana ice creams, I really tried to find ones at the store that did not have any chunks, but all I could find were ones with chunks. So <laughs> we're gonna have to like 
filter those out a bit. The banana has like uh, pecans in it. Mm. So I don't know what's gonna happen if, if a pecan <laughs> sneaks through. <laughs> um, and the strawberry has like chunks of strawberry. Chunks. Let's start the dropping procedure. So first we have chocolate and strawberry mixed. <laughs> Mostly chocolate. Oh yeah, there it goes, there it goes. Okay, strawberry's coming. There's the strawberry. Now for some reason, they're these are- They're bigger balls. They're bigger balls and they're all sitting on top. Should we just scoop those out? Yeah, I'm just gonna scoop these out. These are some, whoa, look at that, guys. Whoa. I mean, it still probably tastes great, but. I'm scooping a little bit of liquid nitrogen in here too, just cause I can't avoid it, cause I'm mm -hmm. using a spoon. So that means that these are super dangerous. We won't eat those. We will not eat those. Danger. Danger balls. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna keep it dropping really slow for now. See if those sink. Cause right now they're all floating. Yeah. Will, will you drop now? You dropping? <laughs> the balls need to drop. <laughs> <laughs> and even if there's like, so, like some slightly big balls, that's fine. I don't mind if the balls are bigger, as long as they're not like clumpy. Try to break up the clumps as they happen. Mm. The reason why I'm using metal, aluminum specifically, is because I want to um, use something that won't break apart in here. I want to use something sanitary. But the good thing about aluminum is since it radiates heat out so much, up here it's not cold at all. It doesn't, the cold only reaches to down there, so we're good. It's like a party, party hot tub in there. I know. Slippery. <laughs> Ooh. Oh yeah. There we go. There's the goods. Welcome to YouTube Esports. We have a very special show for you tonight. On the right hand side, we have Evan and Caitlin. They're the undisputed champions. And on the left, we have just Evan. Tonight's competition includes build a website. And go. Okay, we see Evan start off by watching an 18 hour video on HTML coding. He's having a good go at it, I'd say. What's that? Evan and Caitlin are already done making their website? That's gotta be a record. Well, what can I say? When you're good, you're good. Let's ask them how they did it. We just used today's sponsor, Squarespace. Is that allowed? Start by going to squarespace.com slash ek2 where you can purchase your domain name. From there, you can either choose from their huge selection of templates, or you can design your own and make use of their Blueprint AI. Whichever way you choose, they make it very easy and fast to build a functioning professional website. You can create your own courses, send out a newsletter, or you can show off your skills in a member-gated section. All designed to be easy and fast. And since this eSport is sponsored by squarespace.com slash ek2, we have a special deal for you. You can get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain by going to squarespace.com slash ek2. Let's try some banana. Is it weird that this didn't have like a seal on it? And thus we have the last component needed to make the banana split ice cream, the fabled yes. banana split ice cream. <gasps> oh, they're tinier, tinier balls. Very exciting. While the banana dots were dripping, Evan and I were trying to figure out how to stop them from floating. And that's when we got a creative suggestion from Twitch chat. I put the liquid ice cream in the vacuum chamber to remove air. Oh my gosh, that would actually be so smart. Do you want to try it? All right, now we're going to put this ice cream liquid inside of our vacuum chamber. We're getting real scientific with Here this. Here we are. <laughs> All right, get, get the camera ready. 
All right, we're pulling a vacuum. Yep, it's going. Oh, it's raising. It's going up. Oh yeah. Oh my Ooh, gosh, oh my gosh. It's oh crazy, it expands that much. I know, it's so fast too. Don't explode, don't explode. We, we promise no explosions in this episode. No explosions. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, you're letting it go so far. You guys. <laughs> Look at those. Oh hey, my gosh. I pushed it to the limit and it's working. It's collapsing on itself. I mean, you want it to collapse on itself. There it is. Oh, oh, oh yeah, there oh, we go. Oh, it's going, guys. Oh, oh it's yeah. going. Oh, That's it's going. what we want. Heck yes. Look at that go. Whoa, whoa, yeah. That is some violent bubbling. Look at that. Ooh, that looks pretty smooth. And there isn't any foam on top. Oh, yeah, this is much more um, solid. Yeah. Wow. Okay, I'm so I think, curious about it. I think this is going to make a big difference. This is a this is a very different mixture. Oh yeah, it's, flow, it's, it's this is acting completely different. It's just flowing freely. Look at that. That's Can crazy. Can we turn it down? It's a, it's just like there's less friction, so it was just like flowing. It's actually kind of harder to control a precise amount. See, like what's going on? It's weird that like I open it and it goes in like a spurt. <laughs> That's just a stream. Ooh, I, I hear a rich so harvest. So many, yeah. It seems Here, like wait. a good yield. Yeah, yeah. That's a good harvest. Let's yield it, baby. Let's check out the yield. Oh, look at that yield in there, you guys. Look at the yield. Oh, it's coming. Yes. That looks like a good yield Ooh, to me. Oh, yes. Oh, no, this is Dippin' this Dots is, level. This is Dippin' Dots level. Yeah. Wow. No, 100%. The vacuuming did make a difference. I think as the microwaving agitates it. Yeah. And foams it. I think it was um, even more so on the ones that we had to strain. Yeah. The straining aerates things. Um, just dropping balls everywhere. Now that all three flavors were created, all that was left to do was taste them. But before combining them into the banana split, Caitlin and I wanted to taste the strawberry and banana on their own. Chunky. Really chunky. Really chunky. Hmm. Tasty though. Definitely tasty, very flavorful. I'm gonna let mine warm up a second. <laughs> Hold on just one second. Let me put it in the oven. <laughs> it's melting though. Okay, good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Right? That's Tasty. really good. Also, my method worked perfectly. You should try it. Oh. Put it in the mouth cave, the hot mouth cave for a minute. Put my gloves a chance for these. That's smart. Look at the difference between, between these two, two yields of bananas. Let me see if I can guess which is which. <laughs> Not vacuumed, vacuumed. You see how chunky these are versus how like perfectly round these are? They're so much more round yeah. and fine. All right, this is the uh, aerated one, the, the non-vacuum chambered. Still delicious. Yeah. Just like less consistent size wise. Yeah. This is the vacuum chambered. Any difference? I think the vacuum chambered ones seem more creamy. Those will be fine. You can just eat those, I think. No, they're crunchy. I like them a little bit soft. And... <laughs> Don't judge you me. Look, you look so uh, majestic. <laughs> Great. Perfect temperature. Yep. No crunch? Yep. Okay. These are significantly colder. Okay. Maybe a smidge creamier, but I don't know if it's worth the effort. I don't know if it's worth the effort. I agree. But I'm glad we tried it. Yeah, it did make a texture, like a, a size difference and a consistency difference. It's a big visual difference, but the ultimate taste isn't like super effective. Mm. No, I agree. And so the moment was finally here. 
with all three flavors on hand. Banana, Banana chocolate, chocolate, and strawberry. strawberry. Could we dethrone the original banana split Dippin' Dots with our own superior creamy balls? Should I go for a bite? Oh, yeah. All right, guys. Make sure I have a good amount of each. Is it too cold? <laughs> mm, it's so cold. It's such a good bite. You should, have, you should have done the Caitlin method. But it's delicious. It's so good. <laughs> you look like you're enjoying it. It's so good. Mmm. 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 Cold in my teeth. Mm. <laughs> That's so good. So good. Let's get a look at our competition here. Perfectly sized balls. Actually, a little variation. Yeah, there's some chunkiness. Yeah, there's some chunks. They're much tinier. Whoa. Kind of dusty at the end. All right, let's compare ours. Our ours? chocolates are much darker. Yeah, ours has much more color variation. Our, our, our pinks are much more natural pink. Their pink is like fluorescent pink though. The balls are so fine. Sorry. <laughs> you weirdo. There's like no chocolate. What? It's not as good as ours. So is it just like ours is better. strawberry and banana flavors? It's just strawberry and banana, but the flavors aren't mm. as um strong. I mean, I like the strawberry. I like but there's it. primarily taste of strawberry. Uh, the strawberry and the banana, there's just not the chocolate to balance it out. The chocolate's non-existent. The banana and strawberry just kind of watered down and more artificial tasting. It's definitely more artificial tasting. I think that's the main thing that's standing out to me. Mm -hmm. Ours is way better. Mm -hmm. Yeah! Mm. Heck yeah! Mm, 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 wow! Mm, mm. Should we jump into the Biver's DIY comparison? Mm -hmm. We've hinted at the price a little bit. The Dippin' Dots, the buy cost $3.49 per serving, but you need to order a minimum quantity. So in total, $212.63. That's how much we pay to experience these. To get 12 <clears throat> Dippin' Dots packets. Yeah. Now, some places you can get them local, some like gas stations have them, but ours didn't. We went there, we have video proof. They didn't have them. So this is what we had to pay. Now, for the DIY, we paid $31.70 for the liquid nitrogen, mm -hmm. $7.44 for all of the ice cream. Okay. And we could have made a ton more Dippin' Dots. Yes. With that, less than 40 bucks. Now if we add in this and the canister. It's like $250. Okay, so it's- <clears throat> But but I think that we kind of win. Yeah. It's more cost effective to DIY it. Yeah, so we went on the price. <clears throat> yeah, we went on the price. Now, now time. In order to ship this out to you, it takes four to five days. And ours, we can go down to our local welding supply store, pick up some liquid nitrogen, go to the grocery store, pick up some ice cream, and we'll have Dippin' Dots in hours that same day. Yeah. Honestly, it's know. not that much work to make them. It's like, not. It's pretty fast. And it's fun, it's exciting. I enjoy the process. Now, appearance. Theirs is more consistent. Our balls are not as consistent as their balls. But I think because- Ours looks more like natural and like premium. Yeah, I'm looking at chat. I prefer the DIY. I think yours looks natural. Yours is prettier. I like your colors more. I'm kind of thinking prefer the same yours. thing. Yeah, I mean like, it's not just us. Yeah, it's not just us. You guys, I don't think <clears throat> we've ever done so good on a Biver's DIY. Texture. Um, I think ours one's in texture. Honestly, it's creamier. I, I actually like the bigger balls. <laughs> similar if I'm being honest like if I had to pick one I think I would give it to ours but I'm also down to give this one a draw let's give it a draw and taste we've ours already wins. discussed this yeah so by, ours far, wins by far by far baby oh yeah. like, I think that I think that counts as a sweep even though we tied on one mm -hmm. I consider that a full sweep yeah wow that's pretty exciting sorry I had to eat another bite Mmm, I don't blame you, babe. Wow. Mmm. 